When Catherine and Prince William head north to Scotland, they leave their titles as the Prince and Princess of Wales behind. Instead, they adopt different titles steeped in Scottish history. It is understood that the princess is undergoing intensive chemotherapy treatment, but her absence from royal family engagements continues to generate debates. The public's reaction is understandable. Since her marriage to Prince William, she has established herself as a key figure within the British monarchy, gaining popularity that even surpasses that of her husband and King Charles. Therefore, her absence from the latest official photograph of the royal family has been notable and a topic of discussion. The princess should be a do a massive royal ceremony that comes with a historic title, but that's not going to happen for a key reason. On July 3, 2024, the British royal family gathered in Scotland to celebrate Hollywood Week, an event marked by the noticeable absence of the future queen. Plus, Princess Anne is recovering from a recent equestrian accident. The photograph is questioned has sparked a wide range of reactions. While a large number of admirers have described it as charming, others have been left with more questions than uncertainties after seeing it. Just because an investiture for the Prince of Wales, with a huge supporting role from the princess, of course, is not set down in some bit of weather beaten stone doesn't mean it's not a cracking idea. Particularly in social media, there has been a debate about Sophie's and Catherine's absence in the image and her decision not to wear the robe despite being present at the event. The reason for this is that Sophie is on the Lady of the Thizzle, the highest honor in Scotland. She may one day be given the honor as fate or personal gift of the king. Despite canceling other events to avoid interfering with the election campaign, the royal family did not want to miss the city's 900th anniversary. King Charles, still undergoing cancer treatment, extended his stay to interact with many people as possible. In a significant gesture, he awarded Camilla and Prince Edward of the Order of the Thistle, Scotland's most prestigious honor. William and Sophia of Edinburgh also participated in the St. Charles Cathedral ceremony. William and the rest of the family wore traditional green velvet robes and hats adorned with white feathers. When King Charles ascended to the throne, his former title of Prince Wales was passed down to his son Prince William, with his wife becoming the princess. They also inherited the Duchy of Cornwall, making them the Duke and Duchess and retained their titles Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, which they were given when they married in 2011. However, there is another lesser-known title that was bestowed on the Waleses in 2022, which is generally only used when they travel to Scotland. The future king and queen are known as the Duke and Duchess of Rothesay when they are north of the border, with the royal family attending events in Scotland this week as part of Hollywood Week. As my heir, William now assumes the Scottish titles which have meant so much to me. The king declared in his address to the United Kingdom, the country whose title I have been so greatly privileged to bear during so much of my life and duty, he expressed in his speech. While Prince William is widely recognized as the Prince of Wales, he also carries several other titles. As the eldest son of the sovereign, he is the Earl of Carrick, Baron of Renfrew, Lord of the Isles, and Prince and Great Steward of Scotland, according to Scotland Magazine. On their wedding day in April 2011, Queen Elizabeth granted William and Catherine the titles of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, which they used primarily over a decade. Prince William was also named the Earl of Strathern and Baron Carrick Fergus, giving Catherine the corresponding titles. Though they retain these titles, they now primarily used for higher-ranking ones.